Hello, it's John here from yournetbuddy.com. There's four steps to add a, a new domain name to your hosting. So the first thing you need to do is find the email that your hosting company sent you, uh, when you when you started. I use HostGator and so I've got a cPanel link here and I've got my name server links here. Now, these name servers are what you're going to need. So I normally just copy the first one and the second one is only one digit difference so I just change that manually. So if you copy the first one and then you go over to um, your domain name uh, supplier which in my case is Namecheap and we'll sign in. Then you go onto your domain list And then you choose the domain name which you've just purchased. Um, I haven't got one that I've just purchased, so we'll, we'll pretend we've, I've just purchased this one, mammothbubbles.com. So I'll go into Manage. And if you just scroll down a little bit, you'll see Name Servers. Now this, uh, when you first buy um, a domain from Namecheap, it's, it's usually got the Namecheap server. But if you're not using them for your hosting, which I wouldn't recommend because they're usually too expensive, uh, so this is where you you put in the details that you was that you were sent when you signed up to your host hostgator or other host hosting company. So it's NS eight two three one in this case and eight two three two. So just paste it into there, and then click on Add Name Server, and that's all you need to do. Then you go to your cPanel, which is part of your hosting. So I'll just log into here. Now we need to click on Add on Domains. And then we need to put the name of the new domain that you just bought in here. And then we scroll down to here and just click on Add Domain. It will then add you to put in your um, username and then your password. So when you go back into your hosting, uh, into the cPanel, you'll see that this um, new domain that you've just added is listed there as well. So now your domain name is all ready to have WordPress installed, if WordPress is, uh, is going to be the website um, that you want installing on it. So you click on, you click on the WordPress installer back in your cPanel. And then you just click on install now and it will bring up a list of all your domain names. So you just scroll over here, it'll have the first one you ever bought listed as the main one, but just click on the uh, button here and you'll find that the one that you've just bought is now listed on here. So you click on it and that's um, where it's going to add WordPress. So you can just put in here what the site is going to be called so um, I'll just put in there Mammoth Bubbles and instead of it just being called my WordPress blog you can say uh, how to make giant bubbles and then you put in your ad admin name here and your password and then you just scroll down here and you click on install but before you do that Add your email address that um, that you want uh, your login details of your new WordPress site to be emailed to. So it's important that you put your email address in there and then click on install and it will install WordPress for you. So once you've done all that, you can open a new tab and you can type in the name of... Uh, your domain, sorry, you can type in the domain name that you just purchased, followed by forward slash WP admin. So it's WP dash admin and press enter. And then you put in your username that you set up and your password and then log in. And now you're in the back of your WordPress website and you can start making all your adjustments. You can start adding new pages new posts, add your media, and you're all set to go. Well, thanks for watching the video, and I hope it was useful. Thank you. Bye-bye.